tutorial, I want to show you how to get into building your Wix site a little further. Um, so for my students, if you are logged into your account, um, so you should go to Wix.com and log in, um, and then you're going to select your site. So again, you can see some of these other websites that I manage here, um, but you're, unless you happen to have made a Wix site before, um, yours is just going to show the one. So you're going to go to, um, you can do one of two things, just hit select site, or if you click on the little pencil beside it, it's going to directly take you to edit that site. If you were to click on select site, it's going to give you a few other options um, that look like this. So if you had, let me X off of that, if you had um, other apps or tools that you're working on, um, especially like if you were a, um, a hairstylist or someone who books things, you would have that calendar and everything there. Um, you can see from this drop-down menu of the site actions, there are some different things you can do here. You can rename your website, um, you can transfer it, so if you wanted to move it from this account that you've set up to a different one, um, you could do that. So a lot of times I will do that if I'm making a website for someone, I will make it under my account, that way I can just log in and have all my websites there, and then when it's all finished I will transfer it, transfer it to the new owner. Make sure you don't move it to the trash. Um, it will stay there for a certain amount of time, but you don't want to do that. Um, so you would just hit edit site, which I already did that before, so let me pull this up. Um, and this is what we have. So there are a few things um, that you are going to do to get started. Um, if you are a student, you're going to follow these steps. Um, if you are just one of my tutorial viewers and you want to see, um, I'm going to show you guys today how to add and delete pages to your website. Um, so right up here in the top left you're going to see page and if you click on that it's going to show you all the different pages um, that you currently have. So this was just a blank template and um, we are going to kind of make some um, adjustments. So from here um, I want to actually get into, this is like a, a landing page, um, so once, like if you go to the preview mode here, let me show you, once you click on the name, it takes you into the website here. So you can see these are the different tabs at the top. Um, sometimes people choose to have like a sub page, which would be a page that would drop down underneath here. So like for my students in jewelry and glass, um, for your por portfolio, uh, as you're starting out in jewelry and glass one, that will just say portfolio. As you move up to jewelry and glass two and you continue working on your website, you're gonna have a drop down page that says jewelry and glass one and jewelry and glass two. And that will allow your viewers to see the work that you've created in each course. And then obviously if you move up to jewelry three or four, um, you'll add those as well. So um, I was just in the preview mode. I'm going to go back to the editor. So anytime you want to see what your website looks like without all these toolbars and everything around it, again, just click on preview. You can look through everything here and see how it's going to look to the viewer. So let me click... Um, to the main page here. I'm going to go back to the editor. So this was that home page that after you click on the the enter site that was on the landing page, this is what it's going to bring you to. Um, and for my students, I don't want you to feel overwhelmed. We're going to take this one step at a time. Um, so each day you're going to do a little bit on your website, um, starting with, again, adding and deleting pages, and then we'll move on. You'll add um, different text so you'll put your name here we're gonna move from there and start changing out pictures so it'll be a little bit at a time it can be very overwhelming at first if you look at all this thinking you know how am I going to edit this I promise it's very simple you just follow the tutorials and do a step at a time um, so your pages 
you want to go once you click on them here and you can see them all you're going to go to manage pages and we are going to delete a couple of these pages that we do not need um, for ours so unless again you are a company or business that takes online bookings um, then you do not need this so when you are you click on it you can see what it looks like here this is to book different you know appointments so we're going to delete that so if you click on the three little dots and go to delete it's going to say are you sure you want to delete this it's going to also delete your your bookings app and yes we want to delete it so um, that also you can see now at the top here under the in the menu that has removed that where it said bookings that is removed now um, let's do so we want the portfolio there we want an about and we want a contact and a blog we're actually gonna add a blog so I'm gonna show you how to add that page in a minute so the client showcase um, we don't need that so we're gonna delete that one as well and it keeps taking you back to that landing page so I'm going back to the home page which is the portfolio okay um, the other thing is so you can see the login bar here if you want people to be able to log in to your site and leave comments on your pictures and stuff then you can leave that if you don't want that you can delete that off for my students you're going to leave that there um, one of the assignments that we'll do at some point is you guys are going to visit each other's websites and comment on the pages. And yes, it will be monitored, so let's keep that school appropriate. Okay, so the last thing that I'm going to show you how to do is how to add a page. So if you go to add page right down here, this will allow you to add a blank page, which you can then um, format however you want. Um, you would title it so let's just say um, let's call this one services this isn't this is just a generic page so you can see now um, I have this tab here and services is now added to the top so that's its own separate page so if I go back to portfolio and then click on services it's taking me to a blank page right now because I haven't added anything to it Another thing I'm going to show you in a later tutorial is the SEO. So that is how people find you on Google. If they are looking for your website or a specific page, you will um, want to make sure your SEO is set up and we will work on that um, later down the, down the road as you're getting um, pretty finished with your website. We'll, we'll go through that. But before you publish it, you would definitely want to make sure your SEO is accurate. So again, that will come in a later tutorial. Um, so we've added these pages. I'm going to delete the services one out because we don't need it. It was just for example there. But we are going to add a blog page. Um, so this little, looks like a little um, pin tip here, that is adding a blog. So we're going to add that. And the reason that we are going to do a blog in my, in my class um, is so that you guys can basically it's going to take the place of like a warm-up activity in class we will be critiquing jewelry um, you guys will kind of do um, you might do like a top 10 trends in jewelry or um, I might have you take a piece of jewelry or glass and talk about the steps it takes to create it so those those are just some different things that we will do with our blog so you can see the blog is on here now. Um, I will get into how to edit all of that and how to add a blog, a blog post in a later tutorial. Um, so that should be it for now. We will move on from here into how to edit your text. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you stay connected with Urban Rhino on social media. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up comment below, and of course, subscribe to our channel.